All right, what I want to show you today is a quick little trick with which you can extend your audio and your music in a really tight and proper manner without losing the beat and also without losing the flow, which is very important. All right, so let's get right into it. No intro this time. Let's do it quick and easy. So my problem here with this song is that I do not want this part here. This is very slow. It does not fit the uh, tone of the videos here. So what I basically want to do is I want to take some of this part of the song, which is more energetic, and replace it with this part. And then at the end of this part here, we'll do a little fade to this song, all right? So what I want to do is I want to find out where the beat of this part can be ended, can be cut so that I can just copy this or duplicate this part of the video and add it at the end. So uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. One. What I'm, what I'm doing is counting the beats. Three. Four. And then again. One. Two. Three. Four. This is where I could cut. One. Two. Three. Four. One, two, three, four, and then there's the one, and there is where it'll cut. This is where I'll cut. All right, I'll just put it right there, take this, hit Alt so that I can just duplicate it very easily. So let's just listen again. Okay, this is not this is not as well as I intended it to be. Uh, okay, so this is a tiny bit too late. Okay, this this is good. This sounds good. Let's just add a constant power fade there. Let's listen again. Two. One, perfect, this is what we want, this is exactly what we want. So of course you'll you'll not be able to hit the point directly at the first time, but um, just use the slip tool and then you, you can rearrange it. I could place this lens actually somewhere here so that it looks more of, of a filmmaker's office. Woo. The trick is basically counting inside of your mind. You have to count the steps of the beat and at the end of the fourth beat, you can align the other part of the song, which is at the first. So you'll take the parts and moving them closer so that they align. And, and once you do that, you don't lose the flow, you don't lose the beat. And the people listening to the video probably won't even notice because they don't know the song. So this is very nice. Let, let's listen to it one more time. Perfect. Really nice. All right, so that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, all the all the standard stuff. Subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Yeah. All right, catch you in the next one. Bye bye.